Well, this is the engine bay of a little red pickup truck. Uh, Dodge, of course, the only ones that made them. Um, little red express, uh, three, 360 uh, motor, that's what they came with. Uh, this particular one has a few upgrades to it. It's got a little bit of a camshaft in it, gives it a little bit more snot. Uh, a set of um, uh, long tube uh, coated headers on it. A uh, Carter AFB carburetor, about a 650, and it's got a dual plane <coughs> wired intake manifold on it. It's got the brand new belts on it. Uh, Donnie just put them on and adjusted them. It has power steering. It has power disc brakes in it. It retains its original cold air ram induction system, very similar to what Olds used on their W30 cars. Uh, very, very nice induction system. Um, it does have uh, a, a new battery in it. It has the um, heavy-duty radiator with the correct shroud and the clutch fan also with it. Radiator reservoir on top the way they came in 78-79. Uh, uh, engine compartment is very, very nice in this car. It does not have air conditioning. Uh, it does, however, retain uh, its original heat system uh, for the uh, passenger compartment. Fender wells are very, very nice. They're not corroded or deteriorated in any way. Uh, it looks like it has a new alternator on it also. Uh, even the inner sides of the uh, fenders that you can see over top of the wheel wells are very, very nice. There's no de deterioration or no oxidation, rust or anything prevalent anywhere on this car. Uh, very, very nice engine. It appears to have been taken out and freshened out at some point. The uh, block is all painted nice and orange just the way it should be. Um, new uh, hoses top and bottom on it also. A very, very nice engine compartment and what's really nice is it still retains its uh, cold air induction system with the chrome top uh, air cleaner designating 360 cubic inch express. So um, these motors made some very, very decent horsepower. Uh, I'm not sure exactly uh, what the horsepower output would, would be at this point because of the uh, add-ons, the cam, um, the intake carburetor exhaust manifolds. I'm sure there's been some head work done too. Anybody that goes to that extent has also done some things with the uh, cylinder heads. So, um, it's probably making somewhere middle threes. Uh, I know that uh, after driving the car, the car really gets the job done. Uh, truck really gets the job done. Uh, it's very, very nice, clean engine compartment. You can see all the originality underneath the hood, the original sticker underneath the hood yet. There's absolutely no deterioration or rust anywhere on this vehicle. So, let's go around the rest of it and see what we can show you. Hi, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida, and today we have another little red express truck for you. I think this is about the sixth one that we've had and uh, they don't seem like they last very long. Very, very popular vehicle uh, at this point in time. Uh, they're, of course they're all red. Uh, they all had the stacks up the side of them. They were all 360s. Great, great piece of equipment. Really, really great running vehicles. So we're going to go over it and see if we can find any faults or deficiencies in any way for you. The paint on this vehicle honestly uh, appears to be original and if someone has painted this thing, I, I can't see where it's been masked or uh, there's no overspray or anywhere evident uh, to me, but the paint on it is very, very nice. It is not show quality. It is, it, it's original equipment quality or maybe a little bit better. This thing has a nice finish to it. It doesn't have any chips on it. The Dodge designation in the front doesn't have any patina. Uh, there is a little bit on the uh, headlight basils here in the chrome. A little tiny bit of pitting on that side and the same thing on this side and it doesn't show any uh, indication that they've ever been replaced. The anodized aluminum grill is not dented anywhere that I can see. Let me go over to make sure. Now the anodization on this thing is very nice. It's, it's original. Uh, there's no dents or stone marks on it anywhere. The front bumper is absolutely as it was when it was new. The chrome is a, a foot deep on it, very, very nice. A nice alignment on the front bumper also. I don't see any deviation whatsoever from one side to the other or front to back on this thing. It uh, really, really looks good. Um, hood fitment, uh, very nice. You can see across the uh, cowl area where the hood fits there and you've got a nice gap the whole way around the front and down both sides. So. Uh, it's a pretty nice fitment on the hood. 
The front end is as nice as you're ever going to find on any pickup truck. Uh, the paint is exemplary on it. It is not show quality, but it certainly appears to be either original or a little bit better than original paint. Um, nice vehicle. Let's see what we can find on the side. All right, driver's side of our Little Red Express. Um, side marker light, real nice and flush the way it should be. The uh, gold pinstriping around the uh, uh, fender well, just the way it should be from when it was new. Adventure uh, designation on the side. Again, you can see the hood fitment is very, very nice on the vehicle. Original wiper arms, modern um, uh, Anco type blades on it. Tinted windshield in the front. There's no wipe marks or wash marks or anything on the side of the trim around the window is very, very nice also. Uh, rubber is very, very re resilient and, and nice. Dashboard, you can't really see anything from this side looking down on it. We'll check it a little better once we get inside. But the part of the dash that transitions to the base of the windshield is really nice and clean and very precise. There's no rust or deterioration or anything whatsoever on it. Call area at the fender to the uh, pillar <coughs> to the door is as nice as you'd ever want. It's amazing. This is a pickup truck, and sometimes I hope and wish that we could get cars to fit uh, with this precision. Uh, very, very nice fit on this thing. A little Red Express, the way they came from the factory. Uh, correct. Shorter mirrors on them, the way these cars came. Tinted glass in the sides also. Somebody opted for tinted glass in this guy. Uh, the drip rail around the vehicle is just really, really nice. I don't see any marks or dinghies or anything on it. The um, whiskers around the doors, nice and resilient yet and fresh. A little bit of patina on the uh, door handle. Or, again, originality. You wouldn't change it. it. It's an original door handle. It does not need to re be replaced. It, it, it does have a little bit of patina on it, but I'd leave it just the way it is. Uh, Door to the cab, just as really as nice as you'd ever want to find one. A little bit of an overlap here. Uh, we could tighten this door up a hair and uh, push that in just a bit. Uh, then it would fit as precise as you'd ever want it to. Tin window in the back also, how about that? Uh, cargo light. Uh, the stacks on these things are real nice and clean. Uh, there's no, uh, no rust or deterioration whatsoever on them. Of course, your fuel filler chrome steps for getting in the, the vehicle. Top of the bed is nice as you'd ever want to find. It's not marked up or dinged up or anything from uh, things being loaded and unloaded. The lumber on the side appears to be original. There's a few little fade spots on it, you know, just from age, but certainly nothing that would dictate that you would ever want to replace it. Again, you've got a lot of originality here and uh, to, to make this thing all perfect wood-wise, it would be a personal preference, but I would leave it just the way it is. It's certainly not lacking in any uh, aesthetics the way it is. Okay, tin fender. And again, you can, there's, there's no deterioration, no rust on this vehicle anywhere, absolutely nowhere. Uh, trim around the uh, wheel well, the same as it was on the front. Uh, <coughs> These were the standard wheels that came on these cars. They were a set of uh, slotted chrome 15-inch uh, wheels. A great looking wheel. Uh, these house a set obviously of uh, white letter tires. Uh, a little bit bigger size than would have been released uh, with the vehicle when it was new. But a great looking combination. White letters with the uh, red and the gold uh, striping on the vehicle. Really gives it a nice dramatic look to it. Really a great, great looking truck down the driver's side. Might adjust that door just a hair to make it fit precisely as it should, but other than that, this, this thing is as nice as can be. Still haven't found a stone chip or a mark or a uh, scratch either, by the way. And of course, the tail light is hung off the side the way they were from the, uh, from the factory. These were kind of a basic vehicle, you know. It's a, a retro type uh, vehicle to the uh, throwback to the uh, 40s and 50s, the way pickup trucks were at that point in time. So let's do the back end and see what we can find for you there. Okay, the back end of our Little Red Express. Um, again, you can see that there's a little bit of age to the finish on the, uh, the lumber on this vehicle. But again, you'd not want to change it. You know, it's originality. There's Dodge still written into it uh, the way it was uh, back when these trucks were new. Little Red Express, same designation on the uh, back that there is on the doors. Um, 
again, these were very, very basic vehicles. I mean, the way they, the, the tailgates locked and unlocked and the uh, basic lighting system and everything on them. The lumber in the bed has been refinished. Um, and this is nice as you would ever hope to, to, to find. The separating bars <clears throat> are held in place by what appears to be stainless fasteners the whole way through. There's no deterioration or anything whatsoever on them. There were some light scratches in the bed when we got this truck and uh, um, we chose to have it finished in a, a bed liner material, a red bed liner material instead of just painting it because it would scratch easily that way. This way, um, it's going to be a little bit tougher, you know. You're going to use the vehicle for something, and uh, um, this isn't going to mar as easily as just a standard painted inside of the bed. But there are no dents in the tailgate. Uh, everything is as nice and fresh as can possibly be. Looks like this could be brush touched along here, just some little uh, chip marks uh, from something. I, I have no idea what, but, you know, there's a little couple, couple little scratches on both sides. Might have something to do with these guys. I don't know. But, uh, Nice back end as you'd ever want to find. The chrome on the bumper equals that of the front. Just as sweet as nice as can possibly be. It does have a class 3 hitch also, so you'd be able to pull just about anything you want, especially with that power plant in front of it. Um, you could tug anything you needed to with this thing. Nice back end. Uh, again, the chrome on the bumper. Uh, the lights. Uh, everything is nice and fresh just the way it was uh, when this car was produced, truck was produced. One more side to go. Okay, last side, passenger side of our little Red Express truck. Uh, again, you know, you can see that the wood is darkened just a little bit with age, but again, certainly nothing that would dictate you'd want to uh, refresh it in any way. Uh, all the wood is really nice. None of it is splintered or cracked. The finish on it is nice. Um, there's absolutely no reason to do anything with it. Off of the bed, uh, bed rail, which is a single piece of tin in this, in this case, um, no dents, no deviations, no, no nothing. Uh, just as fresh and nice as can possibly be. Um, tin fenders. And there is absolutely nothing, even in the lips of these things, from underneath when we did the uh, undercarriage presentation. This, this vehicle was absolutely brand new, rust free. There's absolutely nothing on it. Again, the uh, stack on the passenger side just equals out of the one on the uh, driver's side. A real nice, uh, it's mounted in rubber just the way it should be, and the chrome running board on this side. The chrome is very fresh on both of them too, by the way. They're, they're not uh, uh, worn out or deteriorated in any way. The gold striping over the top of the wheel, well, the same as the other side. Uh, again, the drip rail. No marks or dinghies or whatsoever on that. Uh, patina on this one. Not quite as bad as the other one. The other one seems to have had a little bit more use. It is the driver's side, so that's not surprising. Rubber uh, wipe whisker. Again, nice as could possibly be. This door, same way. It could use just a little bit of a tweak in. Little Red Express. Boy, nice fitment, though. I mean, very, very nice. If we pull those doors in like an eighth of an inch, they'll fit precisely. Uh, you never find one that fit any better than that. Again, hood to cowl to fender to A pillar to door. You're not going to find anything any better than that. Adventure 150, just the way it would be. Again, the uh, trim, side marker lamp, the same way as it was uh, on the other side. And we're back where we started. Um, original single mast antenna, the way it should be. And uh, this mirror, of course, this is stainless. This is chrome, and the chrome on it is very, very nice and fresh looking. Um, tinted glass on this side, the messy other side. Very, very nice little Red Express truck. Uh, these things are very, very difficult to find uh, that are in this condition. I mean, you can find them where they're really driven through the years and really hammered away at. This is not one of those vehicles. This thing, uh, the undercarriage, the interior, uh, the finish on the outside of this vehicle, and the fitment itself is just, you know, really exemplary. Uh, and what's really neat about this guy is it's got a little bit more snot underneath the hood there than a standard uh, 360 motor. Now this thing's been massaged a little bit. It's definitely got a little bit more cam in it than it came from with from the factory. And it would be a performance-oriented cam as opposed to a, a smog-oriented cam at that point in time. It does have a wind uh, dual-plane intake manifold on it, Carter AFB, and a set of headers that go into a stock set of mufflers, so it has a nice deep rumble to it. Not objectionable, but it's making some serious horsepower. 
nice vehicle. It's available at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. And every time we have one of these, it does not last very long, especially one in this condition. So you better take a look at this guy because it won't be here for a very lengthy time. Okay, we're in our little Red Express interior inside this guy now. You can notice the dome light is operational. Um, there's no back seat. It does have a fold down armrest. Um, the vinyl on the seats is, appears to be the original vinyl. Uh, it doesn't appear to have been replaced and it's just as nice and soft and resilient as you'd ever want to find. Uh, someone's, I don't know what's underneath the steering wheel. Uh, it could be a good wheel. It may not be. I don't know, but it does have a big uh, fat wrap around it. Um, it's a tri-spoke wheel just the way it should be. Door panels are nice and clean and bright the way they should be, nice and black. Your window cranks and your door releases are all nice and shiny chrome. The um, trim on the dashboard is nice and fresh looking. The uh, uh, simulated wood uh, on the dash isn't uh, deteriorated or worn out in any way. It has a, um, uh, AM, yeah, AM FM radio in it, an operational tack. Uh, the gauge is all working this vehicle. We did go for a ride in it, and this thing runs exemplary. It really does. It does have an auxiliary uh, oil pressure gauge, which does function and show good oil pressure. Very, very nice truck. Uh, the dashboard itself, uh, it's, it's a plastic dash in it. There's a little, man, talk about little. I can't get my finger nail in it, but there's a little tiny crack here. I mean, ever so slight. You can't really see it. Leave it alone. It's just a, something that you're not even going to notice. Original sun visors, just as nice and fresh as can be. Uh, the rubber around the doors, your door seals, uh, nice and fresh. Someone's replaced them through the years. I mean, it's, a, it's just a very, very nice, um, original looking truck. Uh, the mirror itself doesn't have any uh, milking milkiness or anything it is a day night mirror um, I don't want us to tell you about this the carpeting is nice and fresh looking it's not deteriorated or, or faded in any way it's not turning brown anywhere uh, the uh, uh, gas brake and uh, emergency brake uh, pads are all nice and fresh looking they're not worn anywhere it's a nice original looking truck this thing is as nice on the inside as it is on the outside Definitely warrants your uh, attention. This is a nice uh, little red truck. Very nice. Hangsters, Daytona Beach. Up here is, let's see. We have, where the heck are the wipers this thing? There we are. Wipers in function. Wipers working fine. Okay, new blades on them also. Have to point that out. Uh, Turn signal left on the dashboard. You can see it's working. Turn signal right, working. Fuel gauge working. We've got a little, eh, about a quarter of a tank of fuel. Alternator charging as it should. Temperature just starting to come up. Oil pressure is an idiot light, but we do have an analog gauge down below that shows oil pressure. It's uh, about 55 pounds right now. Tachometer working as it should in the dash. We have a tack working. Let's see if the radio works. How about that? Leave it to Dodge. Radio works. Horn. Horn is working. Uh, let's go for a ride, see if everything else works. Coming up just like it should. has a real nice deep rumble to it, you know, nothing objectionable, just the way it should sound you know, with these pipes. Let me straighten out here, I'll let go of the steering wheel. Now the road straight as can be. Let's see how it stops now with uh, no hands on the wheel brake wise. Straight as could be, no hands on the wheel. Has a real nice deep rumble to it, real nice sound. Really a great running truck.
nice solid. Can't really find anything to uh, complain on this guy. Holds nice oil pressure. Temperature gauge is up into, uh, I'm going to guess 150 degrees, 160 degrees. It's a little chillier out today. It's not 100 outside, so it's going to run a little on the cool side. Again, turn signals work just like they should. Everything on this vehicle works. We just went through it. You just watched it. And we're on our little uh, test ride right now, so I'm trying to show you how it runs. It's got a real nice lope to it with this cam in it. Somebody put some type of an RV cam, I think, in it. It has a nice little lope to it. Nice little rumble. Nice sound to it, nice rumble. I'm gonna stay out of the water here so Jeff doesn't threaten my life when I go back. There we go. Nice running truck, you can see just straight as an arrow down the road, no hands. Nice running rig. We are underneath our Dodge a Little Red Express truck. Um, really, really a nice solid truck under. Uh, <clears throat> original spring still intact, not brand new shocks, but they have been replaced through the years. Uh, new set of uh, rotors on the front, uh, calipers look fairly fresh, uh, not brand new, but in very good condition. Rotors are nice and fat though. Uh, set of long tube, uh, I'm going to call them inch and a half, possibly inch and five eighths uh, long tube headers for this vehicle with the uh, high temp coating on them. You can notice that the 360 motor has no leaks whatsoever on it. Had the oil and filter just changed, and uh, no leaks whatsoever. None on the bell housing present, or on the uh, uh, torque flight transmission either. The uh, cradle underneath the engine doesn't have any marks on it from being jacked up through the years. The front sway bar bushings appear to be good. They're a little bit aged on the edges. Uh, your two uh, uh, sway, bar, sway bar link uh, ends. Uh, appear to be original, but they don't really need to replace. The rubber's still good on them. The uh, body mounts on the vehicle are really, really nice and fresh looking. No one's made any attempt to jack either uh, side of the wheel well uh, openings up. Uh, a lot of guys try to jack it up on that. They are metal, and they a lot of times will lift the vehicle, but uh, you shouldn't do that. Framework on this thing is a complete perimeter C-channel frame, and there's no marks whatsoever in it. Uh, absolutely none and it's never had any trauma whatsoever you can see the frame sections in the front are just as nice straight as can be no leaks on the radiator support uh, geez this vehicle is really a good looking vehicle it has a brand new uh, Mopar starter on it with the shield also the original cooling lines for the transmission that go to the radiator are still intact and in really great shape speedometer is not leaking in the transmission itself really nice looking vehicle. <clears throat> the floor pans are the original floor pans. They're not rusted, not deteriorated in any way, nor have they been replaced. The original shields for your exhaust pipes, which appear to be about a two inch pipe. We're going to call these three, uh, three inch collectors, and they go into about a two inch primary pipe that goes to the two uh, uh, mufflers on the sides of the vehicle. The shields are still present for your um, primary pipes where they get close to the uh, running board floorboard area. Um, plastic gas tank, uh, no marks whatsoever on it. The uh, brackets and all the shielding on it still intact and nice as can possibly be. Mufflers themselves are as new. You could not ask for a nicer, cleaner exhaust system than this vehicle has on it. Parking brake is original and still intact. So are the brake lines and fuel light. Everything appears to be original and nice as can possibly be. Uh, we're about halfway back through the vehicle, and as you can see, no leaks on the tail shaft or the transmission or the uh, engine itself. Everything is nice and solid, clean as can be, straight as can be, original floor pans, no deterioration, nothing done 
uh, uh, repair-wise underneath this vehicle at any point. Uh, looks like a new U-joint in the front and a new U-joint in the back also. So let's see what we have on the second half. Okay, second half of our little red express truck. Uh, the lumber in the bed is just as nice and clean as could possibly be. Of course, it's uh, finished in a uh, clear urethane on top, painted black underneath. Uh, it, it's not finished in urethane underneath, it's painted black like the undercarriage. Uh, again, a parking brake assembly, just as nice as uh, can possibly be. A set of heavy duty springs on it. Nice arch to them yet, very, very nice arch. Drum brakes in the back. Uh, pretty heavy duty shocks in the back too. They look like they're replacements. Uh, I can't really tell the age, but they're in, uh, in excellent shape. Eight and three quarter inch heavy duty Mopar rear end that no one's been able to break. Um, two inch primary pipes out of the or into the mufflers, and the same thing out. They appear to be two inch. Also, the transition onto the uh, uh, other mufflers that go up alongside the, the uh, chrome stacks up the side of the uh, uh, behind the cab of the truck. Rocker panels just as nice as you'd ever want to see a set of rocker panels on a vehicle. Really, really great condition. Um, again, no marks on this frame anywhere. No deterioration, no scale, no rust, no nothing. Uh, the original tie downs that they use in shipment from uh, Chrysler are still attached to the framework itself. Uh, Fenders in the back, there's no deterioration whatsoever, or no pulls or no marks whatsoever on them. The uh, rear braces are still just the nice as clean as can possibly be on it. Again, drums in the back, parking brake assemblies hooked up. It does have a class 3 hitch on the back of this vehicle. It does have the, um, uh, the transitional piece that goes between the two C-sections. It's nice and clean and crisp, just the way it was. In fact, you can see a little bit of primer on the, on the thing yet. Really a nice looking straight, straight truck. It has the uh, spare tire carrier. There's no spare tire in it. Uh, most people just delete that. It just kind of junks up the undercarriage and uh, there's really no need for a spare. It does have a brand new uh, round of rubber on it also. Nice white leather tires on the vehicle and all four are as new condition. Uh, this vehicle is a, it's just a really nice a little red express truck. It's hard to find these that aren't really trashed out through the years or that have a lot of um, uh, body issues, you know, deterioration, you know, on the quarter panels, the uh, uh, rocker panel areas, floor pans, this thing has none. It's as straight and nice a vehicle as you will ever, ever find. And it's available here at Hangsters, Daytona Beach, Florida. So if you're in the market for a little red express, we got one.